two days ago, I decided that I needed very, very urgently to rearrange my shelves that used to be this gorgeous, like rainbow spectacular. Um, I decided I needed to rearrange them by author. I have no idea why, because that idea doesn't appeal to me at all. Rainbow is nice, it's ordered, it's neat, I know where all of the books are anyway, and it looks beautiful across the room. But for some reason I was like, you know what, it needs, it needs to be by author now. The only thing I could think that was like a sensible reason to do it was it's nice to have all of the author, like a series all in a row if they're different colours. Um, which like wasn't the case before. I thought I'd gone a bit mad. I thought I just really needed to do this and then the next day I would change it back and all would be normal. But that's not what happened at all. At one point my boyfriend did say, is it because you miss bookshops and you want it to look like a bookshop? And I thought maybe, like maybe that's why. It could be because it does feel now like a bookshop. So now it looks like this. You can see one, two and a bit of three. There are five of these. I'm not going to mess up the camera. I'll do a full pan in a second. I've also done this for my non-fiction that lives on that side of the room. It's still categorised a bit. I have like general non-fiction, memoir, like self-healthy, productivity, poetry and nature. But like, yeah, five categories and now all arranged by author. Same with my uh, hardbacks down here arranged by author. So it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as harmonious from across the room as it did before. But that was because like rainbow shelves equal this sort of like smooth aesthetic. It's not actually books. Like when you see rainbow shelves, you don't think of books. You think of that's some stuff and it's a nice color. But then when you have books arranged like this, they suddenly all become individual books again. And it was just astonishing how I did this. And suddenly there were a bunch of books that I couldn't stand being there anymore. I've now pulled out 25, maybe maybe 30 books um, that I didn't want anymore because they didn't really represent who I am as a reader or I read them really didn't like them or I read them and thought they were blah or they were just old and I didn't really connect to them or I just never thought I'd, I was going to read them. These are some books I've been holding on to for years and years and I realised that what caused this trigger for that, this to be the time to get rid of them was that suddenly when they're not in like a, a beautiful gradient they're individual books again. Like every single one of these now catches my eye. And before it was really easy to just like bypass the ones that I didn't care about as much when you're when you're looking at a whole spectrum of them. But now that's impossible. It is so striking how every single one of these books is now drawing my eye and I look at them and I think, yes, I'm glad that I have that book there. And I just feel kind of manic. <laughs> this is obviously, very inconsequential, way bigger things happening in the world. But it is one of those things that's kind of like become a bit of an identity point rather than just like a thing. Um, like I will defend the idea of arranging books by colour, even though it doesn't like taxonomically make any sense. And having that thing just so swiftly and irrevocably removed feels very strange. But good, but good. I don't want to debate in this video what's better, but I would like to hear if any of you have had a similar epiphany. And if this has made you like weirdly curious to also divest yourself from rainbow shells, like I really encourage you to do it. I suddenly feel so much more authentic and not for being like serious and proper and doing things the right way, but from considering all of my books as individuals and casting out the ones that don't work for me anymore. This has been a video about my divesting from rainbow shelves and I'm never gonna go back, I don't think.